before you start Excel VBA, you've got to watch this. I'm going to make seven or eight points here. That they're going to help you. One, Excel VBA is hard. It's actually a skill. People expect to just be able to jump in, learn a couple of things, and it's all going to make sense. It's not, but you have learned lots of skills in your life. Uh, you learn to walk, you learn to eat, you learn to talk. You've got it in you. Now, I'm one of those annoying people who has hobbies. I do sport, I play the drums. <laughs> I've learned languages. You've got to find within yourself those uh, competencies that allowed you to learn a skill. Things like determination. When it goes wrong, can you carry on? Humility. You know, can you take feedback and resilience to keep going in the long term? So it's a skill. It's hard. But point two, it's not that hard. As with many technical pursuits, the people who've mastered Excel VBA aren't generally very good at actually explaining it. So they can make it sound more difficult than it is. And there's another thing, which is it's actually in the interests of the people who are good at it to make it sound difficult. And often you see on YouTube people putting these beautiful Excel dashboards, for example, online. No doubt they're fantastic to look at and everything. But there's kind of a side effect, which is people think, oh, I'm no good at Excel. I could never do that. So don't get caught up in in all that. You know, you can do it as well. It's hard, but it's not as hard as some people make it seem. Number three, you're going to need a coping mechanism. Yes, coding gets emotional. It's going to get wrong. You're going to start a macro and then bang, it stops. You get that annoying little ping uh, from your computer. How you react then is... It's one of the key determinants of your ability as a programmer. You need a coping mechanism. I have some words I say when that error message flashes up, I say, I can sort it out. I can sort it out. And then I go into my debug routine. So you need the right emotional response. You need the right technical response. Number four, you need your debug routine. Intelligence is knowing what to do when you don't know what to do. When you don't know what to do, it's all going wrong. What do you do? Well, we open the VBA editor. We align the VBA editor and Excel. Having two screens really helps. And then we go through our debugging routine, which uh, involves stepping through the code, looking at Excel at the same time, and then gradually building our understanding about what is going on. Learn to embrace failure. Fail again, fail better. This is going to equal progress in Excel VBA. Number five, make sure you have an infinity project. I've got lots of silly projects I've done in Excel VBA. I have an offside game. So it's a game where you pretend to be a football linesman. You've got all these uh, icons on the screen. You've got to decide if it's offside or not. You can find that on the YouTube channel. Another infinity project I've got is building a chess computer. And there's 25 videos of me trying to build a chess computer in Excel and failing to do it. I still haven't managed to do it. There's 25 videos documenting this process. That's why it's an infinity project. It's never going to going to be complete, but you are going to learn so much in that safe space away from the pressure of work or having to deliver something for, from a client, doing something that you enjoy, something that you know a lot about, have an infinity project. It can be something really silly. Let me know what your infinity project is. Number six, soft skills matter more than you think. If you're coming from a soft background, I didn't start coding until I was about 28. If you're coming from a soft, soft background, those skills really matter. If you just have a relatively small set of technical skills in Excel VBA, which is what I have, but you can pair, you can pair those skills with some really strong interpersonal skills, you're going to be really good at things like scoping out projects with clients, exploring situations with clients, explaining how VBA is working, how it's creating value for a client. So those soft skills can actually be more important than you think. It might make you stand out as a VBA programmer. Number seven, it's more powerful than you think. Excel VBA, it's an order of magnitude more powerful than you think. People think Excel VBA, it'll save me five minutes. It'll save me 10 minutes. No, sorry, you're wrong. It's going to totally transform the way you're working with data. It's going to not just save you time. It's going to give you more insights out of your data. It's going to just completely change your working with data, the way you're working with data. It's not very compelling, but it's an order of magnitude better than what you currently think. And number eight, 
you can make a career out of it. Yes, just with Excel VBA, you can make a career. When I started my company, I was offering all kinds of things to do with management consultant, business, business analysis. People said, we need help with Excel VBA. Yep, there's lots of other platforms out there, but as long as Microsoft Office uh, holds the lion's share of the market in productivity software, people are always going to look to Excel first. And most people out there are only using 5% five to 10% five to of what we can actually do uh, in Excel. So if you can do all these things, get good at, at programming, bring those soft skills into play, make it make sense for people, you can get good at Excel VBA. I'd love to see you on the channel and to be part of your Excel VBA learning journey. Good luck.